The recipe I'm making today comes from the cookbook Bronte at Home, baking from the Scandi Kitchen. Delicious. Of course, I'm gonna have to make some substitutions because I didn't have all the ingredients I needed and my oven doesn't go down to 150 degrees Celsius. So the first thing you do is you preheat your oven to 150 degrees. Then I've already mixed together the 50 grams of sesame seeds, the 50 grams of flax seeds, the 80 grams of sunflower seeds, the 80 grams of pumpkin seeds, about 20 grams of sea, uh, chia seeds. And then to that, you're going to add buckwheat flour, which is what I didn't have. And so there's 50 grams of buckwheat flour. It calls for uh, three and a half tablespoons of oil. There's the oil. Um, 150 milliliters of boiling water that going and you're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt and mix it all together. So let me mix it together and then I will bring you back. My dough looks like I can already tell there's a problem because it shouldn't be so uh, watery. But you know what? <laughs> I always have problems when I bake. It's just part of the charm. So let's go ahead and spread this onto the cookie sheet that I've lined with parchment paper, and then we're gonna bake in the oven for about an hour. It's supposed to be at 150 degrees Celsius. Mine will be at 170. And what I've done is I've spread out my mixture onto my cookie sheet. This is a half sheet. I have two of them for the recipe. And mine does not look as brown as the picture because I didn't have the right flour. So we're gonna see how it turns out. I think it's gonna still be delicious. I don't know about you, but I love Swedish crackers. Their breads are so good and their crackers. When I was in Sweden, I was lucky enough to go to the Grand Hotel and they had a buffet and it was a seafood buffet. They only have it a couple weeks a year. And I was just so lucky to be able to eat a lot of uh, cracker there. <laughs> so anyway, we'll bake this up for an hour and we'll bring you back when it's done to show you how it looks. So I finished my recipe for Swedish seed crisp bread, furupnak, and it turned out great. The suggestion was to bake in a preheated oven for 50 to 60 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius. My oven would only go to 170, and yet it still was wet when I took it out. So, thank goodness for the air fryer. I just popped it into the air fryer, and it made it nice and, hear it, crisp. Hear it? Tastes great. So, it's a great recipe. If you like Swedish crisp bread, or any kind of crisp bread, this is the one to make. Take care. Thank you so much for watching and indulging me in my obsession in all things Swedish, and I hope you have a great day.